What are permanent diagnostic trouble codes or DTCs? Hey everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. So I'm going to do a quick video here to help you with your permanent diagnostic trouble codes. I have a vehicle here and it has two permanent codes and I'm going to give you guys the information that you need to go ahead and get your vehicle to pass an emissions test. Yes, you can pass an emissions test with a permanent code, but you have to complete 15 warm-up cycles and drive at least 200 miles. On the screen, I will leave you guys some helpful tips to help you complete that faster. The reason they came up with these permanent diagnostic trouble codes on vehicles that are 2010 and newer is because a lot of people were getting around the smog rules by erasing the check engine light information and setting all the inspection monitors and quickly going in and getting the vehicle inspected before the vehicle had a chance to verify if any of the issues that were there before had been fixed. So this is going to affect the vehicles that are 2010 and newer. Most of the times when you go into a smog station and the technician verifies that you have a permanent code like this, he's going to tell you to keep driving. But just realize that is really not the case. You cannot force the person to go and perform the inspection. So the only thing you can do is you can file a complaint or you can call another smog station, explain to them that you've completed 15 warm-up cycles and driven the 200 miles and all your inspection monitors are ready. And you might have a better chance with that. If there's something that I did not cover in this video, please comment down below. And it's really nice to have an OBD2 reader like the one I have here in my hand. These are under 30 bucks and they make setting inspection monitors a breeze as you'll get a visual graph of everything. So check marks for all the monitors are complete. The number of diagnostic trouble codes, pending diagnostic trouble codes, and you get this nice useful alert bar down here letting you know there's something wrong. And if you need additional help, I'll leave you guys some video links down below to vehicle specific drive cycles. So if you're struggling with a catalyst, oxygen sensor, evap monitor that is just not setting, those videos will definitely help you out. And at the end of this video, I'll leave you a three in one video where I talk about pending, stored, and permanent diagnostic codes all in one. And if you guys like these simpler, shorter videos, make sure you guys let me know in the comment box down below. If you guys like this kind of content, consider subscribing as it really means a lot to me. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much.